<coughs> okay, I've got six o'clock. Let's uh, start with a pledge. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Roll call. Clark? Here. Fish? Here. Jorgensen? Cole? Here. Parliament? Here. Steen? Here. Mayor Buck? Here. Okay. Um, you got the uh, agenda in front of you. We'll look for a motion to approve the agenda. Okay. Motion and a second to approve the agenda. Any other discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Approval of the uh, minutes from April 28 briefing and May 2nd regular meeting. I'll move to approve. I'll second. Motion and a second to approve the uh, minutes. Any other discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Approval of claims? Move to approve. Second. Motion and a second to approve the claims. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Consent calendar. Nothing. Okay. All right. right. Visitors and timed items. This is an opportunity if somebody would like to address the uh, council. Um, We restrict it to five minutes. If anybody would like to say anything okay hearing none we'll move on public hearing off sale of malt beverage in South Dakota farm wine licenses yep this is our annual list of for renewals uh, the renewal would start in July they go run through July 1st <coughs> through June 30th so um, there's no violations on any of these for this year move to approve Motion and a second to approve. Uh, any other discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, same sign. A special events license, Wildberry Prairie Winery. Yep, uh, this would be for Wild Prairie to sell or sample at the farmer's market. And this would be actually located in the Kingberg parking lot for the dates listed on May 28th, June 4th, 18th, and 25th. Motion and a second to approve. Any further discussion? Are they not going to the church yet? That, that yet they can't. Well, number one, because the ordinance doesn't take effect until middle of June. Okay. They plan to, but I think July. Okay. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Both same side. Motion carries. Old business. <clears throat> Second reading of ordinance 5656. This will require the city to send notices to all property owners within 300 feet for a variance request. This is the second consideration. I move to approve. No second. Motion and second to approve ordinance 656. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Second reading of ordinance 657. Uh, Same requirement for mailing of notices to property owners within 300 feet for conditional use applications. Motion to approve. I'll second. Motion and second to approve. The second reading of ordinance 657. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Standing committee report. Start with the golf course. Uh, hiring seasonal, seasonal staff. Yep, seasonal staff that's listed on page 42. Uh, number of marshals. I'll have a motion. I'll move to approve. A second. Motion and second to approve the hiring of seasonal staff at the golf course. Any further discussion? 
Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Post same sign. Flood repair, repair. Uh, pay app for $182,481.33 for work completed to date for the repair of the bunkers and fairways and roughs. Uh, moving along pretty decent. They've got some fairways seated. Um, should be done mid to late June if everything weather dependent, of course. Be done and playable? Mm hmm? Will we be able to put, when do you think we'll be able to play on it? Um, yeah, we're hoping all the turf areas will be playable. Probably looking at closer to the end of June now. Um, we're still hopeful middle of June, but um, <clears throat> don't want to be too over optimistic. Um, bunkers are looking like those will be completed here in the next two to three weeks. So it's coming along really nicely. I guess that doesn't have anything to do with the pain for what we were had done. But <laughs> it's okay. That's I'll look okay. for a motion. Motion and a second uh, for the uh, pay application for flood repair project. Any further discussion? I'll just make a quick comment. Um, the uh, mic. Oh, sorry. No, it's not turned around here. Okay. There we go. Um, yeah, it's it is definitely looking good. There's some green coming up. That's that's awesome. Um, I think we're optimistic if we're going to play it in a couple, three weeks with new grass. But uh, people are dealing with it, I think, fairly well. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm excited to see it in a, in a month. I think I'll be real excited. A couple weeks, I'll still be excited. <laughs> that was just for bunkers. Oh, OK, yeah. Where do you bring the sand in from? Just curious. Um, the sand that we ended up having to go with is from Gregory, South Dakota. So that one passed the USGA uh, test. Yeah. Had to okay. go through some testing. So it's the same sand they put in at Elmwood at their renovation. So if you played there, um, it's the exact same sand they have there. That's, that's good sand. Andrew? Andrew? What are the what are the numbers looking like? I mean, on nice days, not on days when um, the wind is blowing 90 miles an hour. <laughs> yeah, it's been kind of a weird start uh, weather-wise, but when it's been nice, we're we're busy. Um, Saturday, we had probably one of our best days since I've been there this last Saturday. So people are still coming out and playing. Um, obviously, you hear a few comments here and there about it, but we're dealing with it, and it'll it'll be a little bit of pain for a lot of reward at the end. Uh, so. How many short roll holes are there? Um, we have number one moved up, um, three, five, six, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So s is that seven? Seven. It's seven. Yeah. Yep. But every every hole's playable. Um, greens are in great shape. Um, the rest of the course is in awesome shape. That sounds like my kind of course. If yeah. It's moved if up. I've been telling people if you, you like want to if you want to shoot a really good score, now's the time to come out. There you go. So. Kind of reminds me of Keen Park, anyways. Play par threes, but you've got, you know, a, a few par fours. Okay. Any other, any further discussion? Thank you. We have a motion and a second uh, for the flood repair project yeah, pay application. Motion and a second. Just need a vote. Need a vote. All in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed. Motion carries. Parks and Rec. Uh, you have the work report, but then it would be uh, pool cashiers. So that'd be a list of seven pool cashiers down there. Um, they look <coughs> kind of start training next week. Tentatively, we plan on opening Saturday, May 28th. Just kind of depends on how much training they can get in next week in the weather. So, do you want to go over what what uh, we discussed for our policy for food? Now we, we've changed it a little sure. bit. Yep, uh, we moved away from concessions five, six years ago, went to vending machines, and we're moving away from the vending machines this year. So there won't be any food options down there. Um, talked to Park Board a little bit about that, and they were okay with that. We did allow them to bring in some items last year, so we're just gonna allow them to bring in a cooler or such. Obviously, no glass, no alcohol, those kind of things. Some kind of stress, you know, to pick up your garbage. Um, but that's 
the route we're going as we get closer so end of this week early next week that message will get out there too via textably and other app other avenues we just had trouble with those vending machines and trying to get help is a problem for everybody so we thought we'd try it this year um, a couple of the um, moms that go to the pool are on park board and so they felt comfortable with that and at least to try it and see if we you know if people like it it'll save people money so so who's running concessions at the uh ball diamonds they um i don't know if it's dynamic dance dynamic, dynamic dance they um do they it for contract, yeah, contract yeah thanks Okay, we need a motion to hire pool staff. Second. Motion and a second to hire pool staff. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. We also need a motion to hire summer rec staff. Yes, this would be the summer rec staff for the summer. They The program date runs June 7th through July 29th up at Brandon Elementary. I would make that motion. Second. Motion and a second to hire summer rec staff. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Public safety. Police report. Nothing unusual unless you have any questions. Okay. Wage adjustment for Micah Henning. Yep, uh, Micah is a detective in the police department. His anniversary date is coming up. Motion approved. Second. Motion and a second to approve the wage adjustment for Micah Henning. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Safety Town Director. Uh, yep, Safety Town uh, is, will be starting again in June, I believe. Yep. June 6th. Um, we're recommending that we hire Vicki David. Vicki was on the council at the time. She started the Safety Town program last year. Uh, ran it very well. She's also an elementary teacher, so uh, we're recommending that we hire Vicki to, to run the program again this year. I'll move to hire Vicki David. Second. Motion and a second for the Safety Town Director position. Any further discussion? Just a quick question on the $1,000. Is that enough to cover That's what we had. That's wages, what we supplies, budget. marketing, everything? No, there's, there's a different uh, category for That's supplies. Right. No, it's just $1,000 for wages. I see Vicki's here. Do you have anything to add, or do you feel that's sufficient? I know you put in a lot of time in addition to just the event hours. Yeah, that's that's yeah, that's very nice. Oh, sorry, Vicki David, twenty eight oh nine East Sunflower Circle. Um, f- formerly, we're Colin sitting. That was my seat. Just kidding. Um, no, I think no, that's plenty good. And I just want to say thank you again because this was a dream of mine three years ago when I came to most of you here and at, um, was appointed on city council. Is this is something I felt strongly in doing for the community? And thanks to you guys and Brian and Christina and and Chief and the police department for believing in me because most of them did not know what Safety Town was. I wasn't quite sure of it, unlike Colin and myself who are graduates of it. Um, we knew what it was, and so I feel really uh, fortunate to have the support that I've had with the city. And um, I think it went really well last year, right, Chief? Right. Chief did amazing. He painted the buildings. Off the Sarda and Chief got the blacktop painted, and. Dr. Larson with the school district has been very supportive and is allowing us to use um, Brandon Elementary again this year. So, no, I think it's wonderful. And I, again, thank you for the support. And any questions, if you have any, I'm willing to answer. But how many kids are you going to try to get? We tried it with 30. We're off, we're starting off small um, just because <laughs> last year we had 30. This year I think we're at 14, right? So far, yeah. So far. And I know, like, I kind of compare it to when I call like Yankton and then Brookings has done it for nearly 40 years. They have a morning and an afternoon program and they see about 250 kids a year. But I think the officers and chief and I are all like, okay, let's take baby steps. Let's get the ground running and what we want to do and hopefully continue to grow and add more session times. Right now it's just in the morning from 9 to 11. 
Vicky, then, like, they go through once, or they repeat? Do they, like, a kid that went through last summer, he might oh. come again? They want to. It's for five- and six-year-olds. They certainly could. Oh, okay. It doesn't hurt. I mean, you can never have too much safety training, right, Chief? Right? You never can have too much. So I think um, they could, but every day we focus on a different skill, and we have different speakers that come in, and we have had Chief Dykstra um, also works for the Sioux Falls Fire Department, so he was able to bring in the firehouse, and we've had MedStar came with the ambulance, and we had um, Kello come talk about weather safety, and we did the bike rodeo, and we um, they had little ID cards, and we did fingerprints, and... Yeah, so we had, a, I mean, every day in the way did animal safety. I think this year might try to get in railroad safety. Um, so there's a lot of, you know, crosswalk, uh, crosswalk, sorry, crosswalk. And then we did bus safety. Um, so we had the school district, David Moody with the Brandon Valley Transportation came and they got a little bus ride and was able to know how to act on a bus, right? And be responsible and respectful on there. And so trying to think of anything else. We even had a VFW come out and it happened to land on Flag Day, so we talked about the importance of the American flag and respecting it. Did I cover everything? And then poison. We talk about poison. Yeah, so it's really, it's a lot humane of... Society. Yep, humane society with the animal safety. So, and then we have a nice little um, graduation at the end. Brian was there last year and so was Dave and we're um, in chief, of course, and stuff and so they get to go through a line and shake hands and so it's pretty fun. What well, I'm biased. I think it was fun, right? Yeah, right? I'm looking at those that were here. It was fun, right? Dave, you're looking yeah, at me. Was, I, it was fun, right? I think about it all the time. I know. <laughs> One of your fondest memories, I'm sure. Uh, no, it was, it was good. It was yeah. No. And what's the, what's the date on that? And then um, do, what, do, what do parents do, usually do? They just leave, drop their kids off? Is that mm -hmm. So initially, the first day, we'll send a letter out once we have everyone telling them, please, the first day you drop off your kids, stay with your child. Um, they do have to walk to us. We're out on the blacktop every morning. We meet by, the, we have a flag that we put out. We meet out there. Um, and then we have youth volunteers from different, um, usually it's the churches I can gather the youth volunteers for. And they help us with crowd management, I like to say. So... Uh, myself and Officer Sarda will each have, we divide the group in two, and so we each will have a group of kids at one time. He might be working on skills about um, this town, so to speak, and then I'm in the inside in the classroom working on the same skill, and then we switch, and then we have our guest speakers and stuff. But parents, yeah, they'll be notified. They just come in. They can drop their kids off um, after they check in with us, and then they're free to go. June 7th through the... Is it 16th? 16th or the 17th, I think. Or is it the 6th? Is that the Monday? It yeah. starts on a Monday. Is it June 6th? 6th. Through, yeah. 9 to 11. I did do a post on Facebook today. Thank you for those pictures. Yeah. I think that'll help because I mm -hmm. think people to try to understand what it is. So I did put that out there because we do have 16 openings right now. I wish we could send some adults through that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Hey, Vicki. Um, I used to be involved a little bit up in Del Rapids. Um, who's doing the, the railroad safety stuff? Who are you to talk to? Um, Kipley gave me his business card, so I think I'll reach out to him with Ellis Neistron, mm -hmm. since they're going to be running through here. So right. he told me there's a guy that, he's like, just email me. He gave me the card. So that's who I was thinking. Because we did a parent survey at the end of last year, asking parents what they liked, any thoughts. Um, and that was one of them that I think two parents put on there. And I'm like, well, that makes sense. You know, some put farm safety, and I, I guess that could be another one. It's just, I, that might be in the future. I'm just not sure how to incorporate that. But definitely with the town, I think railroad safety would be a, a key thing with these kids, understanding that, staying off the tracks and stuff. Yes. So the graduation will be on the 17th on that Friday? At, at, at Brandon Elementary. At 11 o'clock. Nope, it starts at 9, and so that we get done at that day a little bit earlier. So we start at 9, we let the parents go with, and go, and um, we break them into two groups. They get to go with their kids, and they get to see what they do on the town and what they do in the classroom with me. And then they sing their little songs for them, and then we give them a T-shirt and a little graduating hat, and then they walk through the line. Yep. Okay. Thanks, Vicki. Good job. We've got a motion and a second to approve. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Administration. 
Uh, communications report for the last couple of weeks. So I was running across some old papers. So we had sent this out last year, mm -hmm. all the listing with the bill. I think it went. Sorry. came out in July. Um, that was really helpful because then I went through and made sure I was signed up for everything. So I don't know if that's something we want to do again, but I, I didn't. And quick on, are you done? Yep. Okay. Um, quick on communication. I'd sent a note in, it was kind of later today, but I was hoping we could put something out on Facebook for National Police Week to give residents a little platform to um, pat our well-deserving officers on the back, show their appreciation. Would that be possible? It's my suggestion would be that it comes from the um, city instead of the police. Okay. Anything else? A quick question here. This is um, on the communication report. You get down there a ways and it says uh, uh, notifi notification bar. Um, yeah, so on our homepage of our City of Brandon site, at the top, there's a notification oh. bar that will come up. I know Law & Water, yeah. Okay. Yep. Wage adjustment for Christina. Yep, Christina's anniversary date is coming up here on the second. Looking for a motion? Move to approve. Second. Motion and a second to approve. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Both same sign. Motion carries. And a wage adjustment for Tammy Vanderbeek. She's our payroll uh, specialist uh, anniversary coming up at the end of the month. Likewise, move to approve. Second. Motion and second to approve. The wage adjustment for Tammy Vanderbeek. Uh, any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Same sign for oppose. Motion carries. Block party request. For the 700 and 800 block of North Copper, all of the residents have signed, all of the affected residents have signed the application. Copper, Copper. Uh, uh, it's up in Stone, Stone Ridge. Ridge. <coughs> the railroad tracks. Motion to approve. Second. second. Motion and a second to approve. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, same sign. Motion carries. change time of the uh, briefing meeting at the briefing meeting we talked about um, changing the time to uh, late afternoon as opposed to evening uh, from 5:30 to 4 and I think the process the thought process was that that it might even be better for you know right now all the public meetings are at night and having something in the afternoon uh, wouldn't be a bad thing it might actually reach out to some other people that can't come at night and so that's what the discussion was do we need a motion on this yeah i think so yeah, I'll, I'll move to uh, approve the the uh, time change on the briefings from 5 30 to 4. i'll second that motion and a second to uh, approve the uh, the briefing meeting time change from 5 30 to 4. any further discussion okay uh, Go ahead. I was just going to ask. That's the uh, next meeting. Yeah, it would take effect at the next briefing. Okay. So, in, and this this would in, involve briefing. So I'll, I'm going to tag it on. Do we have a policy, a weather policy? We we don't. Okay. So here's my concern, um, and I think we probably would have done something different if it had been a tornado warning, but we've got all our administration, top administration here all the city council members and the mayor in one building when we are under a uh, weather alert where they say do not go out so I, I think maybe we need to practice what we preach and be careful and not get everybody in the same room because i'm telling you this place would not survive <laughs> and if you guys ever saw that show survivor it, there's a lot of bad stuff so i just wonder if maybe we only do it when it's a tornado, but I think oh, we need something. I'll see if we can borrow some. I know the basement over there is really 
yeah. yeah, but the rest of the building, no, I won't say that. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, before, the, before the meeting, I had actually called down and questioned whether or not we should, we should do it as it was. The storm had passed before we even got down here, but uh, I, I think we can use common sense also, and I don't know if we need a huge policy change. In a, in a case like that, where we can just come to an agreement to say, yeah, if there's really, really bad weather projected, we can either cancel, postpone. Well, yeah, you can't hold them that night. You've got to get 24 hour notice. So if you move the meeting or change it, it's going to be at least 24 hours, 24 hours later. Well, other than that statute, like, that does have some. Yeah. Absent extant circumstances. But I just think if we had to cancel because of a tornado warning, you might have to yeah, yeah, well, that. Yeah. Yeah. You really need to do the briefing and meeting. Yeah. Otherwise, I think it's just, uh, it might be just up to individuals. I mean, common sense. If you don't feel comfortable going out in, the, in, in some severe weather, well, it wasn't that I was uncomfortable with it. I'm more concerned about having all of the leadership no, in I one know, room. No, I, I know. I'm so, you know, that, that was my concern. All right. I concur. Any other discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Streets. You've got the work report. And then we move on to seasonal employees for the Public Works Department. You've got a list of six um, seasonal employees to be approved. Move to approve. Second. second. Motion and second to approve the seasonal employees for the Street Department. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, same sign. Core Area Phase 2, pay app. This is the first pay application for our core area phase two to Sukup Construction. It is pretty large one at just under 410,000. Um, they do have most of the utility work done in that first phase, so water sewer, and they're working on their storm sewer. And so pretty soon they'll be shaping up the road already. So they are a couple weeks ahead of schedule. They're doing really well. Oh, and one of their sub contractors is SiteWorks and SiteWorks was in town and helping all the residents in that area clean up after the storm. So that was a really nice thing for them to do. Yep. Okay. We need a motion. And second. Motion and a second for the uh, pay app for core area phase two. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Core area overlay project. Uh, this is the change order for the core area overlay project. Remember, we bid this out thinking that it was going to be in that $350,000 range, and it came in really good at just under $200,000. Um, so we added a few more streets and pretty much doubled the project size of it um, and still stayed within our budget of $400,000. Need a motion? I move to approve. Second. Motion and a second to approve the core area overlay project uh, change order. So Tammy, do you anticipate that this will affect our CIP priority list? No, I really don't. Any other discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Uh, transit system. Excuse me. Pay app for, yeah, excuse me, application one. Number five. Second. Motion and a second to approve the core area overlay project uh, app one. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Uh, transit system. Yep, Rocks, who operates our, Thank you. our transit system, every year they have to prepare a budget request for the state and federal dollars for the 5311 and Title 3B funding. So on page 79 is their proposed budget for the year, and like I uh, always indicate, this is just proposed. To date, uh, DOT has not fully funded uh, any applications that we've submitted, and we will find that out later. 
A motion to approve. Second. And a second. Any further discussion? So, Brian, do many smaller towns have bus service like we do? Or are we unique? No, South Dakota is unique um, in the region with the bus services that many small towns have. Del Rapids has one that's operated, I think, by Brookings now. Um, you know, I think Janko started it with free buses to communities back in the 90s. So this is highly unusual that cities, you know, we're, well, when we got it, we were probably, what, 5,000 that, that operate a transit system. Um, there are regional transit systems in other states and larger communities Mankato, Twin Cities, et cetera, have their own bus systems, but you don't see a lot of bus system, transit systems in, in smaller communities of our size in other I, states. I think it's an excellent service that we provide our elderly, but our young people getting back and forth to school. Primary users are uh, oh. the preschools. Right. We do get requests, every, a couple of things for the newbies. A couple of things, um, we don't, the, the transit system doesn't leave the city limits because it's funded partially by property taxes. So we don't necessarily want to send those folks shopping in Sioux Falls. And then we don't do any school, um, public school pickups or drop-offs. That's up to the school transit system to do. Any, any idea on a number, like how, many, how many actually use it? We'll, we'll, we'll get, get some numbers. I can get an update from her. Yeah. I'd be interested to see. Mm -hmm. If I'm not mistaken, a number of years ago, the the feds had uh, quite a bit of funding for uh, transit mm -hmm. systems. Sioux Falls, I know, got a pretty good size yep. number. Uh, that was kind of a broad uh, transportation in general mm -hmm. funding bill. It is, and it, it's always dependent on the on the transportation bills or laws that are passed in Congress. Um, but fortunately, I think it was it two years ago we got a new bus, of which I think we paid twenty percent which isn't a bad deal. Okay, any further discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Water and sewer. Uh, resolution 1622 authorizes the mayor to sign an application and payments for the Westside Sanitary Sewer Project. We're putting in an application to the state to DANR for um, ARPA funding for the Westside Sewer. Need a motion? Yep. Move and approve. Second. Motion and a second to approve resolution 16 22. Any further discussion? I, I just got a quick question. No, and don't take any offense whatsoever. But why, why the change? Why, why do we need the change? Or what was it prior to this? It's, it's, what change? We're just, we're just submitting an application to help pay the costs. No, that's not what I'm talking about. Having the mayor sign. Oh, the mayor always has. He always sign. signs the DNR so application. Putting the name yep. in place, yeah, as opposed to. Uh, well, we all, sort of longer, yeah, but, any of the yeah. Oh, okay. This okay. resolution yeah. is a request of it's required for part of the application. Yeah. Okay. I'm not smart it's enough to take any the, offense. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> all right. That's all. That's all I was wondering. If any further discussion? Just red tape. Yeah. All in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion carries. West Side Sanitary Sewer, pay app. This is the sewer project that goes from the Big Sioux River to the west side of town. Um, helps service uh, Hague's development that's out there. This is the first pay application for just under 700,000 at Tom's Backhoe. They do have the borings done underneath of Holly and through the railroad, so they're just laying pipe and setting manholes. It's going pretty smooth. I'm making a, a motion to approve. Motion and a second to approve the West Side Sanitary Sewer Project. Any further discussion? This all in budget? Yep. Hearing no other discussion, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Okay. Number three, the water tower pay application. <laughs> uh, this is pay application number 11. They've been working on the water tower for some time now. Um, that's to AB Contracting. AB Contracting did request uh, CB and I, there are structural engineers, to come out and assess the damage that happened last Thursday. Um, they've been on site for a couple days. They will stay on site for a couple more days and then they will come up with a report. 
um, that states the damage, and then we'll present that to council as well. So once we have that document, then we can figure out our next steps of how we are going to have them repair it. Um, just to note, this tower is under construction, and so it is not filled with water. It is not connected to our system. Nobody should feel any kind of difference as far as water pressure or water quality or water quantity. Um, the city has insurance along with the contractor, so we will come up with the next steps and uh, plan accordingly. Tammy, was it just from the wind or was there a crane there or something? Just the wind? So Think. What I like to people is the example of like a grain bin. You know, you always see those whenever there's a, a storm. Just because if they're empty, then there's nothing structurally to keep it in place. And so there was no water in it. They didn't have the top. They didn't really have a bottom to it. So. Where did, where did we hear that of the crane that fell? Social media. Mm -hmm. oh, sorry. That's what everyone thought at first, because the crane was on top and on that, that side, exist. but the crane and did not You fall on mentioned it. insurance. They also have um, builder's risk insurance yes. in addition to the the regular. Okay. Yep. Yep. And, and bonded, performance bond, etc. Um, it is a construction site, so the contractor is 100 percent in charge of the activities and damage on that site. So at this point in time, you know, we're we're kind of out of it. We're just waiting for their analysis. They were there on Thursday night as well as Friday. And at this point in time, they have not indicated any safety issues or structural issues uh, that would cause any concern. I'm just really grateful that no one got hurt. Yeah. And I would hope that people would look at it from that standpoint. Is there uh, any possibility that this is going to come back on our, our insurance folder? Or? It should not. On the cities, yeah. No, like I said, it's it's a construction project, just like uh, the core phase two project. Anything that happens on there, Suka, the general contractor, is the one that is going to be liable for any issues, damages, injuries, etc. Yeah, we we add the piece of equipment or building or tower once it's complete, or once they have the final application, is when we add it to our insurance. Yeah. Now, I'd anticipate. Um, they may come in with a change order after all is said and done for a time extension. You know, it's, it, it takes a significant amount of time to re remake that bowl. Like six months, maybe. So I would anticipate something coming up. Okay. Any other discussion? All in favor of the water tower pay application? Oh, excuse me. Have a motion? And a second. And a second to approve the pay application. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion carries. The number four is a um, PRV in installation project. I'm not sure what that is. So pressure reducing valves. We have okay. to install these pressure reducing valves to every home east of the golf course. Um, that is due to the new water tower. So this is the first pay application. They are having some, uh, like a hard time getting some of the materials. And so they will be requesting a change order for time extension, which looks like they got time. Obviously we have some time, so. <laughs> Other than that though, the project's going pretty well. Okay, need, an app, need a motion? So moved. And a motion and a second to approve the uh, installation project pay app. Any other discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Water meter replacement. Water meter replacement. This is app pay application number one. They are about 70% done, but I will warn you, we're down to the fourth notice and the door hangings and all of that. So we're kind of to the point where that if they don't make appointments, then we'll have to shut them off. So I think mm. there's only been in the past that one we've had to, but um, I will warn you that door hangers will be going out either this week or early next week for that. So. Okay, I need a motion for this? So moved. Second. Motion and a second for the uh, water meter replacement uh, pay application. Any other discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, same sign. Motion carries. New business. Do we need an executive session? 
Nope, not that I know of. Um, you've got the financial reports at the end of the packet for you. Um, fund balance report, sales tax remains strong. You know, we're looking at uh, the general fund sales tax at about 17, a little over 17% increase over last year. It's all that pretty terrific. So it's, still, it's still running very, very good. Uh, what was the year, before, year prior? A uh, year prior, we were up 19% uh, over the year before. So, if this trend continues, um, you know, you're looking at maybe we'll be up a million dollars in two years in sales tax revenue. The one I watch is the third penny, mm -hmm. and that one's up substantially. That's like where we buy, like that's where we can buy our parkland from and some of those kind of <coughs> things. So um, that's really important to, as I always say, drink local. Yep. <laughs> All right. Any other business to come before the council? Nope. Hearing none, I'll look for a motion to adjourn. A motion and a second to adjourn. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed?